Good morning, boys and girls. For our Saxon spelling words this week, you need to get your worksheet that says spelling list number 19. And it's really simple. All you need to do is write each word in the lines next to it and then turn it over to the back and write each sentence on the lines on the back. Make sure that as you're writing the sentence, you have spelled each word correctly. It's right there for you. So be really careful that you've spelled each word correctly. You have used a highlighter to highlight your uppercase letters and punctuation at the end. Make sure that you are using spaces in between each word, a finger space in between each word and that you are staying on the lines. Your tall letters are going to the top line um, and ending at the bottom line. Your lowercase letters are starting at the middle line and ending at the bottom line. Use your best writing and practice those four sentences. We're going to move on now to our Saxon lesson. And our sound this week is key, E-Y. And just like when we say when two vowels go walking and the first one does the talking, well, in the word key, Y is considered a vowel. And so when we code it, we underline it. It's vowel digraph, E, Y, E, 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 because the Y is silent. So let's practice that together. Key, vowel digraph, E, Y, E, E, E. We're going to do a quick lesson today because you have your spelling words also. Let's go ahead and get worksheet number 106 out. And um, put that put away. We are not going to do number 1 through 12, but we are going to start on number 13. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we are not. We are not doing number, <laughs> today we're not doing number 1 to 15. We are just going to go ahead and code our E-Y words that say E. So we'll do the first one together, and then I want you to pause the video and do the next four and come back and check them. Mm, a o oh, that's a floss, E. Valley, valley. It is also a V, C, C, V word, which means we need to split it right between the double consonants. Would you please go ahead and pause the video and code the next four E, Y, E words? Okay, boys and girls, go ahead and check. Um, those first five words, make sure you've split your syllables in the right place. And this would be a keyhole. Okay, we're going to code our last five words. Kickstand, railroad, stroll, couches, garments. Garments are the same thing as clothes. Okay, so garments are the clothes that you wear. I'm gonna get myself back on here and um, go ahead and pause the video and get those coded and then come back and check them. Okay, um, let's look at number 23, stroll, stroll, oh, that's a wild cult word. Do you remember why um, the suffix is es instead of just s on this one? Yes, because we have our digraph ch in front of it. Okay, let's go ahead and go on to the back. Okay, boys and girls, we are going to read the paragraph together once. I'm going to help you with it, and then you're going to pause the camera and you are going to read it two more times to a family member. And then you're going to answer the questions and you're going to underline the answers in the story. Remember how we do that? And then you may unpause the camera and come back and check them with me. Here we go. 
The Landrys had a day off. Let's take a short trip to the valley, said Dad. He went to find his keys. He said, my car is sitting in the alley, but it's locked. We can't go until we find the keys on my keychain. The Landrys started hunting for the keys. They looked through each room in the house. They checked in Dad's coat and under the beds. Mom looked in the trash and under the pillows on the couch. Tommy and Vince went outside to look in the yard. Dottie, their Dalmatian puppy, was in her doghouse. Tommy and Vince heard a jingling sound. They sneaked over to see what it was. Dottie looked up, surprised to see the children peeking inside. As she did, the keychain fell from her mouth. All right, so I want you to pause the video and read it two more times with a family member. Answer all three, all four questions, making sure that you find the answer in the story and underline it, <clears throat> and then check back here with me. Okay, welcome back boys and girls. What was missing? Dad's keys. And I found it right up here. What did the Landry, where did the Landrys want to go? They wanted to take a short trip to the valley. They wanted to go to the valley. What did Tommy and Vince hear outside? Tommy and Vince heard a jingling sound. And who had the missing keys? Dottie, their dog. All right, boys and girls, let's read our six um, sight words together. Their, T-H-E-I-R, means it belongs to them. Their, T-H-E-R-E, -E, means over there. Come, some, brown, cold. Please make sure you read those with a family member. And if there's any that you're having a hard time with, keep practicing those throughout the week. See you next time. Bye.